Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, it's George from the Elvis Final Guy channel. Today, uh, I have some new stuff that I got. I just want to show you and I have a package that I'm going to open. It's not VCLT, it's something that I ordered, but I'm really excited about finally getting it in my collection. Uh, the package I got yesterday, though, had this in it. I don't know if you've seen my videos or not, if you're a new subscriber or anything, but I'm a big Leon Bridges fan. I've got his first album and I've got a 10-inch. EP of his and this is his new album called Good Thing and it is very very awesome I'm going to do a review on this uh, his first album was more of a 60s Sam Cooke feel this album is more of a 70s just R&B and it's what's crazy is his first album has the old Columbia label, the old 6i label on it, and it's that 60s, 50s, 60s Sam Cooke's feel. This album is a more of a 70s feel, and look what they did with the label. First, got to show you the, the inner sleeve is this. And there's your songs and lyrics, and they went to the 70s Columbia label. And it matches the music. I think that is so cool. This this album, I mean, it may not it it's definitely not the '60s feel that you got on his first album, uh, "Going Home" or "Coming Home." Yeah, this is more of a a newer R&B sound. So the label changed, which I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if he did it like that or if Columbia wanted the newer label. I don't know, but. It, it works out really great. This is a great album. I will do an, a review video on this, uh, talking about the songs. But there's your song list. Really, really solid album. And to add to my soundtrack collection, I did get The Greatest Showman soundtrack. Uh, I don't know if there's a two LP set of this, but this is just a one LP set. Now, I love the music on this. I do. I don't love the movie, though. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. Well, okay. I love the movie. The movie's great. But these songs, I'm, I'm that guy, totally that guy. I can't stand when they do modern songs or modern sounding songs in a movie that is set in older times. Like, if you've ever seen... Um, uh, what is that movie? Um, it's not First Night, but it's the one with, seriously. It's that night movie, A Knight's Tale, with, um, yep, Mine Gone. Anyway, it's got the uh, gentleman that played the Joker in uh, Dark Knight. The one that passed away really early from Australia. Maybe I'll get the name. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Apparently, I'm not going to get the name because it's still not in here. Anyway, that's that movie was set, you know, during the King Arthur kind of days. And they're doing We Will Rock You by Queen. I'm like, what? I mean, I get it, I guess, but... The music in this movie is just too modern for the time period that this is set in, in my opinion. And I know they can't, you know, sing it all oldie and stuff. They gotta, you know, match the crowd. They've gotta appeal appeal to their audience, but I just don't like stuff like that. I love the music. I love the movie. I just don't love them together. I know it's weird. So this just came in a white inner sleeve, kind of li library-esque inner sleeve, just on black vinyl. This is on Atlantic, but it didn't have Atlantic labels. It's got just the Greatest Showman labels, and it does have a booklet with the 
picture of Hugh Jackman, and then there's the whole circus entourage, and it's got all the um, it's got all the lyrics and who is singing it at the time, like if it's Barnum and Helen or the Oddities, the Lord of Leeds, Letty, whoever. One of my favorite moments in the fo in the movie right here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a good addition to my soundtrack collection. My wife really loves everything about the movie. Like I said, the movie was cool. I just didn't like the music in it with the movie. I like the music separate. But I know it's weird, but whatever. So on to the box to see what came in today. My knife. Paul, powered by coffee. One record is in another box, and this one, uh, this took me forever to get. Oh, my God. So cool to finally have it. I have their first album, and here's their second. No need to argue. This is a limited edition of 1500 clear and pink vinyl. The second studio album by Irish rock band The Cranberries, released in 1994, is their most successful album and has sold about 17 million copies worldwide. It contains the band's most successful single to date, Zombie in Memory of Dolores O'Rourke. I don't really know how to pronounce her name, so I, I know I just destroyed that, but I did. I do love this band. I have a bunch of CDs. I have... Uh, all kinds of like compilation CDs and I've got some I think bootleg CDs of theirs that's the back and of course you know the album's got Ode to My Family I Can't Be With You 21 Zombie Empty Everything I Said Jesus hold on guess we'll be doing a sealed reveal right here it is a gatefold it's not made by the people that made my copy of the first album, which I really wish it would have been because whoever did that, the gatefold is real. I mean, the the cover is just really like, oh, I hate, I want to keep that sticker, but I hate cutting them. I like to peel them and then stick them back on the cover. There's gatefold. Of course, the inner sleeve is split. Yay. All right. Pink and clear vinyl. It is 180 gram. Uh, so empty everything I said. The icicle melts. Disappointment, Ridiculous Thoughts, Dreaming My Dreams, Yeats Grave, Daffodil Lament, and No Need to Argue. I know you guys probably already knew the songs on there, but I like to do that, so get over it. So yeah, it's really cool to have that one. I have one more album of theirs I need to get on vinyl. I think they only had three, right? One that was released in like 99 or something. Or maybe in the two, maybe 2004. Anyway, I think they only had three like studio albums. I may be wrong. Uh, totally. I'm not. the. I love the Cranberries. I just haven't kept up with them through the years. I just, judging off of Amazon, I think they've only got one other album or. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm. Probably should, I'm pretty sure I am. 
All right, and one more. I've been wanting to get all these reissues because obviously I don't have the originals. And here we go. Hellbilly Deluxe. First time on audio file black vinyl. Rob Thomas. Rob Zombie. Rob Thomas. Did I just say Rob Thomas? I sure did. <laughs> Cut it out. Or will I leave it in? 13 tells a cadaverous cavorting inside the Spook Show International. This is a gatefold. Yeah. So I've got this one. Music on Vinyl Press. A white zombie. And then this Rob Zombie. Hellbilly Deluxe. So really cool to get this. Apparently, I don't do shrink wrap very well. So, it is a gatefold, like I said. Awesome. Yeah. No digital download card? Who gives a rat's? Oh, love the label. Let's say that's a uh, hundred and fifty gram vinyl. It's definitely not one eighty. Oh man, new monster masks. And look who it is. Who's that, everybody? Yeah, we know. Oh, lucky Rob. Guess I'm pretty lucky myself. Pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait to spin this. Those of you that follow me on Facebook will definitely see... It's George Crow, by the way, on Facebook, if you want to... Follow me on Facebook. I'm in the vinyl community on Facebook. And I can't put this in the jacket like I was supposed to. It's very early in the morning, so forgive all the mistakes. But awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad I got this. Who holds up the cranberries in Rob Zombie, right? Maybe that'll be my screenshot. Who knows? All right. BC. It's always great visiting. Uh, come check out my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Give me a like. Give me a hate. Whatever. I don't give a rat. You know. And I uh, want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. I am up to 288. I was going to do a contest to 250, but it just kept going. So now I'm going to wait for the next 12 subscribers, and I'll do a 300 subscribers contest, which I can't believe that I'm almost there. I mean, like, I sometimes it would take me two weeks to get one subscriber, and now I'm like, every day I get one or two, or every two days I at least get two subscribers. So it's really cool. So maybe in the next couple weeks, we can do a 300 subscribers contest. I want to give a shout out to, um, okay, this is going to sound stupid. I know you guys probably aren't like this, but I am. I was starstruck the other day at work, all right? I didn't mean to make this video any longer than it already is, but I was starstruck at work the other day. Why, you asked, George? Well, let me tell you why. I'm sitting there at work, and I get a notification on my phone that I have a text. 
I open up said text, and guess who it's from? Yours truly, Mr. Hall of Fame. <laughs> okay. I'm like... <clears throat> anyway, long story, I... I saw a video that he did where he made this Linda Rodstad box set. You guys know how I love Linda. I saw a couple of things he needed. I had a couple of things for once. I had some that Mr. Hall of Fame doesn't have. Not gloating. Not bragging. I just had it. I sent it to him. And he sends me a text. I know you guys are like, what? How are you starstruck over that? I'll tell you how I'm starstruck over that. I didn't get into the vinyl community because of anybody other than Mr. Hall of Fame. I was on my laptop one night watching YouTube videos. This is before I even started this collection that I have. I've always collected records, but you guys know this is like my seventh collection. I fell on hard times when we first moved to Nashville. Had to sell my entire record collection, right? So I was like, screw it, that's it. I'm not I'm not collecting vinyl anymore. This is ridiculous. I didn't even know there was anything such as the vinyl community. And off the side, you know, where it shows all the related videos, I see this guy, it says Mr. Hall of Fame. And it says something about vinyl finds or something. So I click on it. And I spent about three hours watching all of his videos that I could until I fell asleep. And then I discovered Jeffrey Rusnock, and then I watched all his videos, and I'm like, what the hell? And then I discovered uh, the Mr. and Mrs. Memphis Vinyl Gym. I think that's how you say it. I, I never can get that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it. Memphis Vinyl Gym and the Mrs. So I started watching their videos, and I'm like, oh, man, I got to do this thing. So here I am. So thank you, Brandon, for inspiring me to do this and also for inspiring me to make my own box sets because those things are beautiful that you do. And I never even thought about it. I can find those little uh, record holders all over Nashville. So I'm going to start making me, I'm going to make me a Linda Rodstad box set. So thanks, brother. Uh, you mean a lot to me, man. Your channel means a lot to me. Jeffrey Rusnock. All you guys that I watch, Billy Hurst, Jared, Andy's Vinyl Den, uh, Vinyl Countdown, you know, hey, we're all friends here. I love you guys. Peace.